Now, guys, I must go ahead and get into my next review, my next scene by scene by scene by scene breakdown of Spider-Man the Animated Series Episode 4, Doc Ock, Armed and Dangerous, chat. So we find ourselves with Spider-Man Peter Parker, chat. That is uh, the Spider-Man of this animated series. And he's web swinging. He's on it. He's riding a, a train, chat. And he, who's he going to go see? Felicia Hardy. He's finally got a hot date with Felicia Hardy, even though she basically hated his guts um, last episode, chat, when she thought that, uh, or no, I guess that was episode before. No, technically it was episode two, chat, because when she thought Peter Parker abandoned her, when he went to fight, when he, like, uh, like we went to go fight the Spider Slayers of Spider-Man, she, she thought she just ran off and he didn't let everyone to die. But I guess a few months later, she's forgiven him, chat, and he's web-swinging in there to take her out. But apparently, it's not really a date. He's acting as her science tutor uh, at uh, Midtown, uh, I guess, University, where the fuck it's called. And so he's like, well, I guess technically it's a date. And so Peter, he's walking up to this big opulent mansion, chat, but it's got a it's got a huge wall all around this uh, around this place. And so he's buzzing in. He's like, uh, Peter Parker to see Felicia Hardy. And they're like, all right, hold on one minute. They fucking scan him, chat, looking at him with the cameras, like, oh, okay, it's that nerd Peter Parker. And they're up there's like getting the golf cart. He's like, okay. And they fucking drive him up to the house. He's like, Jesus Christ, this place is huge. What do you do? Did you steal everything to, to get this place? And it's like, probably did, chap, because, you know, Felicia Hardy's father was a renowned thief, the original Black Cat. But we're not there yet. I guess he was just called the cat. But, chat, he's just fucking rolling up there. He's knocking on the door. Uh, he goes to the fucking servant. Guy with the huge goddamn mutton chops, chat. Very impressive mutton chops. Opens the door. Lets him in. And he's just out there waiting. He's like, look at all the fancy shit. Accidentally knocks over a vase filled with flowers. He's like, oh. And he's like trying to put them all back in there. But who's at the, the precipice of the steps upstairs? It's Felicia Hardy, chat. Who will soon become the black cat. But not yet. Not yet. And she goes, oh, Peter, good to see you brought flowers. And Peter goes, yeah, I totally did. Even though they're exact same flowers in the vase. And she takes them. And from is like, oh, thank you. That's so sweet of you. And she puts him in the box like, oh, Felicia, I'm, I'm really excited about our, our, our date tonight. It's like, well, Peter, it's technically not a date, but maybe we could do something afterwards. Do you, is it chilly outside? Should I? Now, this is when it's like Peter's like, he's coming, he's coming on fucking thick, chat. Like, Peter's like, I'm in Spider-Man for, like, uh, years at this point. Peter wants to fuck. And she's like, is it cold outside? Should I get a jacket? And Peter just says, I'll keep you warm, Felicia. And she goes, you know what? I'm gonna go grab a jacket, so fucking denied. <laughs> fucking denied, Peter Parker. There'll be no fucking tonight. And Peter goes, mm. So he's waiting there in the lobby chat. He's waiting up there, but then outside chat. Outside, who do we see? Fucking Dr. Octopus, Dr. Otto Octavius, but we don't know that yet. And he's taking out the cameras, the security cameras, systematically. They're sending out, the guards are like, camera one's down. Can you go over and check it out? And, you know, Billy, Billy the security guard, he goes over, chat. He's like, I'll check it out. I was like, oh, the camera's right here. And then a fucking tentacle just pierces him down his goddamn throat, chat. Like, through his fucking throat, out his ass, chat. Billy, the Billy security guard is dead. Uh, Doc Ock, he's, rop he's wrapping up all these guys. He's squeezing them to death until they fucking pop. And, like, he's just tearing them to shreds. And he's making his way towards the Felicia Hardy residence, chat. Towards the Hardy residence. Peter, he's still down in the lobby waiting for... Jesus Christ, what's she doing up there getting a jacket? Apparently she's got a lot of jackets, chat. But then... Peter hears her scream, and she's like, no, get away from me, stop it, and Peter's like, oh, fuck, and he gets up there chatting, what does he see, fucking Felicia Hardy, wrapped up in some mechanical hentai tentacle shit, and he sees, it's fucking Dr. Octopus, he gets, get the fuck away from me, and Doc Ock just bashes Peter Parker away, and then he just goes off of Felicia, and he's like, I'm seeking my revenge, and Peter's like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, and then, Peter eventually comes to, and who's at the goddamn house? The medical professionals and the FBI. And Peter's telling him everything that he knows. He's like, I, I fucking, this guy with, like, robot arms, like, it stole Felicia, kidnapped Felicia, and he attacked me. I was knocked out. And they're like, oh, bullshit. Robot arms, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, right. It's like, first of all, why is that so unbelievable in a world, at this point in the series chat, where you've established that there's a fucking lizard man living in the sewers and giant spider robots attacking the city? A guy with four mechanical arms, that's the most unbelievable thing. 
in this world. So, okay, sure. So they don't believe him. But then who walks in, chat? It's Mrs. Hardy, Felicia's mother. Mrs. Hardy, she walks in. And Peter tells her, this fucking crazy guy just came in and mechanical arms and he stole Felicia. She goes, oh, shit. And she, and she explains, she's like, yeah, that was, uh, that was Dr. Otto Octavius. He, uh, he, you know, we, we was doing some research for us, but we cut him off because his experiments became too dangerous. And we just didn't want that kind of, we want those, that liability on, uh, on our hands. And so clearly he's just seeking revenge against us. And Peter's like, Dr. Otto Octavius? I knew Dr. Otto Octavius. He was my teacher. And then we get a flashback sequence. Shall we get a flashback to a young Peter Parker, like 10 years old, with Uncle Ben, with a very uh, uh, young Uncle Ben chap? And Peter, he's going to science camp. And who? And this is weird, Chad. Who is the 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 teacher at science camp for fucking ten year olds? It's Doctor Otto Octavius. Now, again, maybe Otto was just there because he's like, ah, I want to help out the kids. I kind of like this take because it reminded me a lot of the more recent Spider Man t uh, like games take on Doctor Otto Octavius, where he's actually like a good person who was just corrupted. Uh, by his experiments and shit like it changed his brain chemistry and he became very aggressive and you know Peter's like oh yeah Dr. Otto Octavius he's, he's a great man and I remember this one time when I was experimenting or something and it blew up in my like literally blew up in my face and everyone was making fun of me and Otto's like Peter and they give him like a really he, he sounds like Dexter from Dexter's uh, laboratory chat he's like Peter don't ignore their laughter Listen, science is about trial and error. It's okay if you failed here. It's totally fine. You can do better the next time. You learn something. You learn something in failure, Peter, and then you can apply that to your next experiment. And you and you can someday do great things for the world. And Peter has carried that with himself for, for all his entire life. Carries that with him as Spider-Man, Chad. He was inspired by Dr. Otto Octavius. And Peter cannot believe that the man who has these fucking me mechanical hentai arms is doing all this stuff right now. Then, Chad, we cut to the Daily Bugle. And uh, we got, apparently, J. Jonah Jameson owns a TV network called J3. Because J. Jonah Jameson, Chad, get it, J3. Um... And he's saying, uh, he's like, all right, well, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help out the F Felicia because her family, they give a lot of money to me, and so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna read out, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically, you know, call out Doctor Otto Octavius and say, and he, and Joe JJ for the most part is like actually very, very positive here. He's like, listen, uh, Otto, Doctor Otto Octavius, if you're uh, watching this right now, uh, please call, call this hotline. I will answer it. Uh, make your demands, and we'll be sure as long as you promise. Felicia Hardy's safety. We'll try to work out a deal. And Robbie's going, hey, JJ, you're doing great. Just don't piss him off. Like, don't be, you know, don't be so aggressive. And JJ's like, I'm never fucking aggressive, goddammit. And so then Dr. Ock, he's listening to this, obviously. He fucking calls in. And JJ is like, all right, you sick son of a bitch with your hentai arms. And it's like, it's not going well. This is not smart. Everyone's like, oh, JJ, why are you doing this? And Doc Ock, he's saying, like, listen, I will let Felicia Hardy go if I get two million dollars, if you pay me two million dollars, then uh, I'm I'm golden. And and then JJ he just keeps like, oh, I'm never gonna give you. We're never gonna give you that kind of money, you sick fuck. And Doctor, I was like, okay, not only are you gonna give me that goddamn money, but I want you to give it to me, J. Jonah James. I want you to come alone and provide me that goddamn cash. And so JJ's like, ah, oh, shit. And so cut to another scene, chat. Uh, JJ, he's rolling up there in his car. He's got the two million in this briefcase. He opens up. He goes in this fucking warehouse. It's always in a warehouse somewhere, chat. Always a warehouse somewhere in New York. And he's like calling out to the darkness. Uh, Dr. Octavius, I have your money. And then a fucking mechanical hentai tentacle wrap, wraps him up, chat. Grabs him. He's like, I'm glad you brought this. And JJ's like, I gi I've given you your money, you monster. Now you can release Felicia Hardy. And Doc Ock's like, I don't think I will. I don't think I'm going to do that. He's like, you know what? I'm, I, matter of fact, I think I have another hostage right now. So I'm going to go ahead and ask for more money. But then who arrives in the nick of time? Chat fucking Spider-Man. Spider-Man's there. And they start wrestling. And JJ, he's blaming Spider-Man for the deal going bad. And Doc Ock, he fucking tosses Spider- He's like, kick his Spider-Man's ass, Chad. He fucking just tosses him out of the goddamn building. Uh, I think, like, Doc Ock might- No, has he revealed, like, his origin story yet? Maybe not. Not yet, not yet. Not later. It, comes, it comes later. And so he fucking tosses Spider-Man out. He fucking 
uh, Spider-Man, he falls in the Hudson uh, Hudson River. He swims out, gets back in the warehouse, but Doc Ock, Felicia Harder, JJ, they're all gone. So Spider-Man's like five fucked up. I got to go ahead and tell um, uh, Mrs. Hardy and uh, Robbie what happened. So Spider-Man, he goes back, and Hardy, Mrs. Hardy's like, you, you, you doomed my daughter. You killed my daughter, Spider-Man. And she runs out. She's sobbing, chat, and Robbie's like, Man, I defended you against JJ in the press like all the time, and now I'm not so sure that I should have done that. And, and Spider Man's like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> it's like that hurt even more than the giant hentai tentacle that had me wrapped up and shit. And Spider Man's going, I have no idea what I'm, what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I need to do. And then I think they go in the next day chat, and Peter's like, you know what? I'm gonna be the one to go. I'm gonna be the one to see Dr. Otto Octave. And so. They're, they're going to try to set up another meeting. Like, Doc Ock, he has sent out more instructions to say, it's like, hey, you got to pay me this morning. I'll let JJ and uh, Felicia Hardy go. Peter, he rises next time. He says, guys, Dr. Otto Octavius, he was my teacher once. Let me talk to him, and then I'll be the one to give him the money. And so they're like, okay, fuck it. Let's listen to Peter. Let's see what he has to say. And so Peter answers the phone, and uh, he's like, hello, my name is Peter Parker. Dr. Octavius, I was a student of yours once at summer camp. And Doctor's like, oh. Oh, Parker, I remember you. Yes, explosion in face, very funny, very funny. And you know, it, like Doc Ock is testing him. He's like, "Oh, you've read my my book, my article." And he says like this one thing that like he didn't write. And Peter's like, "You didn't write that." And he's like, "Ah, you are a true man of science, Mr. Parker. I appreciate. It. Yes, you will be the one to bring me my money, and I will show you my grand invention." And Peter's like, sounds, as long as JJ and, and, and Felicia Hardy are okay, I'll do it. And Doc Ock's like, you have my word, Peter, they'll be okay. And so Peter goes there in person, but he's got the fucking Spider-Man on and everything, uh, underneath chat. She, he, so he walks up there, and Doc Ock lets him in. He's like, oh, Parker, good to see you. Thank you for the money. It's like, two million? Solid. And then he's like, Peter, I want to show you something. Come, come over here. And it's like, this, this is my invention. It's cold fusion, sustainable power. It'll be, it'll be amazing for the world. Like, and it's like the size of like a desk chat. And so it's like this thing right here, it'll replace the massive power plants around the country. They called me insane, but this is what we can do. And then he gives his backstory chat where, where scientists, they laughed him out of the room for his designs and what he wanted to do. He went to the Hardys. They were giving him all this money, but they thought it was too dangerous, so they did cut him off chat. And then he was doing all these dangerous experiments like in a fucking basement uh, in this dilapidated area, not under very safe conditions, chat, you know, and then, because he uses mechanical arms to use these, all these mechanical, uh, you know, chemicals, mix and all that shit, and then it caused a fucking explosion, chat, and then his mechanical arms were fused to his spine, and he's like, yeah, I mean, I got a little fucked up in the head, I'm a little derpy, but hey, I feel better than ever, uh, I've, I've perfected my invention, and with this money, I'll be able to create more. And Peter goes, hey, that's great. You know, can you let Felicia Hardy and JJ go? He's like, no, I'm not going to let them go. Fuck that. Get the fuck out of here. I'm going to go ask for more money. He's like, I can't let you do that. Always like, oh, 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 that's adorable. And he just fucking takes Peter, and he flings him out a goddamn window, Jeff. And Felicia's like, oh, my God. Like she thinks, like, Peter just, like, hit the goddamn concrete and just splash him, but now he's Spider-Man. Little does she know that he is Spider-Man, so he's like, I'm fine. So he changes in there, and he busts in there, chat, and he starts wrestling with Doc Ock. And we get like a, we get a fairly actually long battle, uh, but it's not only a test of strength, chat, but it's a test of intelligence. Because Peter and Doc Ock are using the various technology that is in this specific warehouse, so... Peter, he's turning, he's fucking pressing buttons and turning lev levers, magnetizing certain areas of the factory so Doc Ock can't use his um, his mechanical hentai tentacles. But then Doc Ock, he's fucking turning on um, like rockets and shit, and they'll burn Felicia Hardy and JJ alive. So it's kind of like that kind of protracted battle, chat. It's kind of cool. But then Spider Man does indeed get the upper hand, chat. He, um,. He takes Doc Ox, the thing that he does care about, his cold fusion reactor. He's like, I'm going to break this fucking shit if you keep fucking... Doc Ock's like, no, don't! And then Doc Ock, he gets magnetized chat, and, and he's like, oh, and he, he pass, passes out. Spider-Man saves JJ and Felicia Hardy in the nick of time before they're fucking burned to death by uh, a rocket engine. And then Felicia's like, and he unties him and everything. And Felicia's like, oh my God, Peter, I got to go see if Peter's okay. She, she runs out, Peter, he hops in a fucking dumpster, and, you know... Felicia, she just goes right towards that dumpster, and she's like, oh, Peter, you okay? He's like, it's been quite a date night, hasn't it, Felicia? She goes, oh, Peter. 
and then chat. Uh, apparently, you know, Peter's like, oh, maybe I can get that hot date with Felicia. And then we cut uh, after that chat. We see Doc Ock. He's in the maximum security supervillain wing of Rikers uh, of, uh, Island chat, the prison. And he's just fucking laughing his ass off. He's like, you think this can hold me? The great Dr. Octopus? Dr. Otto Octavius is dead. Fuck him. He burned to death in that dilapidated house. I am Dr. Octopus. <laughs> and that is chat. That is Spider-Man, the animated series, episode four, Doc Ock, Armed and Dangerous. Hope you enjoyed it.